Sound for your interviews are brought to you by Luna Signs, Luna Signs Print Shop, with custom shirts, decals, signs, mugs, hats, and more. Get the best price and get the best quality over at 480 559 5359 or lunasigns.net. What's going on, Arizona? This is Gavin from Soundphoria, and I am hanging out with Chris and James from Indigen. What's up, fellas? How's it going, man? Yeah, chilling. You know, it's Friday, so I know you guys have a show coming up next week, right? Let's talk about that lineup. I know that's over at the Starlight Lounge. Starlight Lounge, yeah, okay. could be a great, it's a great new venue, by the way. They've been getting a lot of good bands in there. Sure. We're happy to play there. It's going to be our third show there. Yeah. Uh, so we got three seconds more headlining. Okay. Uh, this is a great show. This is a great, great band. show. And uh, we got Thoughts Like Rockets, and uh, we got Us, and then of course Slur is going to be playing as well. It's a great lineup. Good, Solid very good lineup. Bands. Yeah. It's going to be a Maybe. fun night, kind of bring the tempo up and down, just sort of got that good vibe going. Oh, for sure. You guys have like, kind of like a more mellow tool type of sound. You got like Zach Soul comes in with three seconds more. I mean, like that guy's like cyborg yeah. playing, yeah. and then, you know. It's definitely a good lineup. And it's a free show, too, which is great. Totally free. And then Absolutely. More beer money. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about the band. How long have you guys been together for? Well, I've been in Indigen for about two years now. Okay. James, you joined us about a year ago, I guess? January of last year was when it was official. Okay. And uh, there's been there's been a couple renditions of of uh, Indigen before I got in there. Mm. They had a they had a female singer for a while, right. um, and then uh, but they spent as you can tell by some of our compositions, they spent a very long time singerless and showless, cooped up in a room with um, you know math equations constructing <laughs> all these <laughs> eight minute songs, which sure. I narrowed down to about four minutes when I joined. So yeah, he's he's the handbrake. He's like, okay, you guys have made enough space noise. Let me sing. <laughs> Here we need a bridge. We need to have the have some sort of composition happening now. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it kind of pull, pulls us back from the from the space cadet days. Yeah. So we didn't start uh, playing out in the current rendition. Well, we they, they weren't playing out a whole lot until I joined. Because obviously, they needed a singer. So uh, once I joined, we I went back, rewrote the back catalog, and we um, we started playing uh, 2016, sure. I guess, mm -hmm. late, late 2016. I think the first time I caught you guys was not that was it maybe the. Um April first last year when we played together. I swear, so you guys beforehand too. Joe's Grotto. Uh, we, we did. Did we do March twenty third as well that year? I, I wasn't the wasn't that your first show? The yeah. April first show. April first was my first show. With yeah, if that okay. was your first show, then we hadn't played for for a while before that. Yeah, yeah. I'd seen you once because I remember also like in my band, my guitarist was like, "Dude, those guys, they're awesome. Like, we need to play more shows with them." Oh yeah. And then, speaking of like with yeah, your live shows, great too. Um, where do you guys draw your influences from? Like, what bands really? What, what influences? What inspires Indigen? Well, we've got a pretty eclectic um, background between the four of us, really. I mean, James, you're you're definitely into a lot darker, harder stuff. Yeah, I'm. I, I reach back into like everything from Aphex Twin to Meshuga, sure, uh, Primus, all the way over to like uh, Laundry, just like some weirdness, Caius, Clutch, sure, um, and then you go over to like. Uh, newer, weirder stuff. Twelve Foot Ninja, um, Vildiarta, uh, Soil Work. Sure. Uh, I'm kind of all over the map. I'm, any anything that has impact and and energy. Yeah, obviously. I mean, if you've heard us or seen the, our live show, you definitely hear a little bit of Tool influence in there. So there's definitely some of that going on. I think when I joined, we kind of started maybe incorporating a little bit more of a perfect circle influence in there just trying Shut to up. kind of make stuff a little more marketable you know Absolutely. um but uh yeah th so there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of like uh 90s alt rock um influence going on both sure. in some of my writing and just some of the other guys so kind of kind of uh i'm trying to lighten up a little bit explore <laughs> explore something outside of the bottom string <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. <laughs> so yeah, do you guys, I know you played around town, do you have a particular venue that's like your favorite, like, hey, 
Guys, you know, we're playing here again. Looking forward to it. I mean, got to give love to Joe's Grotto. Yeah, Joe, how can you not? the right? best venues in the Valley. Absolutely. What's yeah. your favorite thing about Joe's Grotto, by the way? Well, the staff is great. Okay, yeah. we love everybody that works there. We always got great sound guys. You always Did got a good light coach? show. Sure. Uh, they take good care of local bands. That's, that's a true local venue that understands local bands and how to do it right. For, and, for and, and they music. invest in the venue. They don't just... Obviously, they've expanded the club. I've been playing there since it was a, a small stage, uh, off in one corner, and the uh, outside of the bar was where the wall was. The sure. sec, you know that whole area where the second stage is was completely walled off. It was it was like a little barber shop or something. Huh. Um, that's how long I've been going to and playing at Joe's Grotto. Sure. And, and now you've got this gigantic, amazing sound system. The lights have expanded, and he has a staff that can run it all. Mm -hmm. I mean. Obviously, we're not going to get up there and sound good without them just kicking ass, and they always sure. do every single time. That's true. Yeah, Joe's a good guy, you know. He is, yeah. Like he's there. He's always at the shows too. Yeah, which, like that. That says a lot as well. Yeah. I mean, also ideally, if you guys were to play anywhere throughout the country, if you had another venue, maybe like, maybe like Whiskey a Go Go or. Uh, Madison yeah. Square Garden, maybe? Madison Square Madison Garden? Garden? Okay. Yeah, right. All right. Sounds like good. Yeah, man. Go big or go home, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. I. I would love to get into some of the some of the Otter Festival shows, like sure. know, up up in Denver, the Red Rocks, or yeah. mm -hmm. Coachella would be fun. Uh, Window Rock here in Arizona would be fun to play. Sure, um, Soul flies up there quite a bit back in the day. They made that video up there too, yeah. which was awesome. Uh, I'm trying to blank right now on the song name, but very cool. Uh, like up at like Monument uh, Valley yeah. and towards there. Um, and what's the other? Um, What's a concert that's happening up in Sacramento coming up? Like, everybody's on it. It's like Alice in Chains, Deftones. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly right. Yeah, it's like a dead three day called. event. Yeah. Because 12 Foot Ninja's on that one, too. And yeah. I, I'm bummed that I can't make it. I think we're taking a road trip up there. Might have to. <sighs> it's kind of worth it. Right? It's yeah. a good bill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it was that early October, I think? But. Yeah. You know, as musicians, we all we all make our goofs on stage. You know, I'm a drummer. I've set many drumsticks into the, you know, abyss. You guys have any uh, embarrassing stories you'd like to share with the internet? Oh, I got one, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Joe's Grotto, in fact, it might have been that April 1st show that we already was, mentioned. Uh, I think it was the April 1st. Was it our CD release or the April 1st show? Uh, I don't know. I got I, I was doing the rock out thing. You, you've got to you got to be entertaining. You got to have energy. Absolutely. If, if you can draw a circle around somebody on stage and they never leave it, then why even get on stage? Mm -hmm. Get on the internet and play for YouTube. Go live sure. on Facebook or something. <laughs> it's funny. Um, but no, it's, seriously, I'll tell you, I'm running across stage. I'm over there. I I, for, I think it was uh, was it the solo uh, Mike's guitar solo and. Oh, I don't know. I just know your hair got caught in yeah, the headstock. And, and I'm over there headbanging next to Mike while he's, while he's <laughs> doing his troll. So, and yeah, this whole side of my hair gets caught up in his headstock. <laughs> and it was about four seconds, and I, I, I just start tapping my bass line while I'm trying to untangle from him so he doesn't turn and rip my face off. And uh, he's looking at it, we're both laughing our asses off, and someone caught a picture at that point. And uh, nobody else saw it until they saw the picture. And it was, uh, it was like two seconds on, on video. It was two seconds. I'm up there, it was like nine hours later, I'm finally getting my hair out of the headstock. And it's, it, was, it was two seconds, felt like days. And, oh, I, totally. and, and I, I was like, I don't know if I detuned his guitar or anything like that. All I know, it was fun. All I know is that we were still picking hair out of the out of the strings yeah. for like a week. Oh, that's funny. It's rock and roll though. Yeah. You know, like, just gotta keep rip going. it out, man. Rip Absolutely. it out, keep going. Absolutely. Uh, where can everybody find your music? Uh, well, we have a web page. It's indigenband.com. Okay. Uh, you can check us out on all the social media. Everything's Indigent Band. So we're on Twitter, SoundCloud, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. All the everything's indigenband.com or Indigent Band is our yeah. our handle at, at everything. At Indigent sure. Band, yeah. in, you know, slash Indigent Band, whatever it's whatever is this extension is, that's that's all Indigent Band. Mm -hmm. And then dot com. Indigenband.com. Indigenband.com. That's right. <laughs> Hope, I'm hoping we can pull a picture up where you have that with the hair too so we can drop that. No, well, I'll get you a picture. I'll awesome. get a picture awesome. of it. Yeah. Another question after you guys. What's your favorite thing about the local music scene here in Arizona or here in Phoenix? There's so much talent. For me, by sure. far, that's, that is definitely 
the most important thing. There's so much talent here, it's incredible. I mean, I come from a small town back on the East Coast. Sure. And um, it, was, <laughs> yeah. it was hard to find good musicians in, in some of those areas. Sure. And, uh, you know, when I, I've been out here for about nine years now, when I moved out here, I was floored by all the talent. It's incredible. I get it, too, because being from the same area, it's weird, because it's not like, you know, Long Island does have a decent amount of people, but I feel like there's so many more musicians here, and, yeah. like, the caliber, not to knock, you know, my hometown and whatnot, but right. seriously, like... It's a notch just, above. It's a total notch above. Yeah. Like, it blew me away when I moved out here. Yeah. So I hear where you're coming from. Uh, now, okay, yeah, I've got the show coming up next week, and then what else What else is on the horizon with you guys for the rest of the year? Well, we, uh, we haven't been playing that much lately. We kind of... We don't play very often, we're, and uh, well, we writing. get yeah, we okay. get we get antsy, and so we write. So we've been we've been writing a lot of new stuff. Um, it's been nice working with James now, having a new brain in there to pick. Sure. And um, so we're, we're we're trying we're trying to head we're trying we're experimenting with some different stuff, just seeing what comes out. And I think we got we got some good stuff coming up, and uh, we'll we'll be playing a couple new songs uh, uh, next weekend on the twenty seventh. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Well, guys, I appreciate you being on. You know, uh, it's going to be a good show. I'll yeah. be there next weekend. Yeah, thanks for having man. You all heard it here first. Check it out. You're going to have Indigen that's going to be over at the Starlight Lounge next weekend. Get out there, support local music. Peace.